Let's see, it is 3.03 p.m. That's 3.03 p.m. 3.03 p.m. 3.03 p.m. 2.16.2023 p.m. 2.16.2023 What up everybody? I'm um, fitting to get ready to head to work. As you see, it's the rain. It's dead out here, so uh, got it got it set up where I can get there without getting soaked. Just want to let y'all know um, I ain't giving up. I ain't giving in. No matter what's going on with my family, no matter uh, how my dad is doing me and my children wrong, no matter that my mom is taking his side on this, which she knows this is wrong, no matter any of that at all, no matter any of that, I'm still going to push forward, keep my head up, stay focused, keep hope. Uh, Jake, Bolivia, I love y'all. I'm going to be writing y'all every day. I'm going to send you letters. I'm going to take pictures of the letters just in case you don't get them. I also still got my job, so I don't know what's been said. I'm going to work night, like I said, from 9 p.m. till 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm keep my head up. Stay focused. Stay positive. It's pretty sad that my own parents would do this. Uh, just so everybody that doesn't know what's going on. I called my dad this morning after being harassed last night and yesterday by some people in the town, even my neighbor next door. I showed you the house. Uh... He came by me screaming, you're a liar, he's a liar, he's a liar, you're gonna die, he's gonna die, he's gonna die. And then he walked, went straight in there. This is room right there. And uh, that was the last of the straw. I mean, he did it right in my face. And I was just like, you're right, man. He just kept yelling this and went in his room. So I called my father in the morning and I told him what was going on. I said, look, I'm gonna go ahead and quit my job. I'm gonna come back to Enterprise and be near my family. And I remember this, I was allowed to see my kids on Christmas. Tierra, my friend that works with me, took me to go see him. And I was allowed to stay the night, see him for Christmas. Then my dad tells me and my mom, they're planning a trip up here for me to see him. Now, back to what I was saying, I told them to quit my job, come back down there because all the harassment and the threats and stuff's been going on. And this ain't the first time yesterday. That wasn't the first time. And um, my dad said, well, if you do that, you're not going to see your kids. You can't talk to your kids at all. That doesn't make any sense. You don't want me nowhere near them, but yet you're bringing them up here. You allow me to drive down there. Thing is, you don't want me living there. There's something going on. Things ain't right. So please keep my kids in prayer. Thank you. But yeah, like I said, it's wet outside. Got everything prepared to keep it all covered. So it's going to be all right. Totally, totally wet. It stopped raining, but I don't trust it, so I'm gonna cover myself in a trash bag. All my stuff's covered in the trash bag. The way I keep it dry, I'm gonna walk. Never give up, never give in, be blessed. Take me a little stroll around my little part of the neighborhood, show you what it looks like. Feels good out here today. That's a blessing. I love the good uh, feeling weather. Can't stand it when it's too cold, too hot. That sucks. Well, anyways, that's pretty much the gist of it. Keep me in prayers. Keep my kids definitely in prayers. And pray that my parents are exposed and everything that's going on is exposed. There's more to the story, and I'll share more of that with you later. And like I said, no matter what, I'm keeping hope. I'm pushing forward. I ain't giving up. I ain't giving in. I'm a soldier for Yahweh. End of story. I don't bow down to no gang stalking program or no gang stalkers at all. Never will. Never have. Howdy. That's just that's just the way it is, and that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> Go roll me up a cigarette. Gotta be blessed. I have another video to update y'all soon. Be looking forward to it.